Hey gardeners, Amy here with Garden Up. There are a lot of really cool events coming up, so get out your calendar. First, and this is the most urgent, is the Spokane Community College Greenery's Monstera Deliciosa Silent Auction. I'll let Jamie from the Greenery tell you all about it. Hey gardeners, Amy here with Garden Up. Today I'm going to tell you about some really awesome upcoming events and the first one I want to talk about is the SCC Greenery is having an auction to raise some money for a scholarship, right? Yes. So I have Jamie here who works in the Greenery and she's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on. Um, we are having a silent auction with these Monstera Deliciosa Variegadas. So you have to come in to bid. So there's a bidding sheet. You'll get a ticket with a bid number so nobody knows who bid on what. And then you can put your bid down for uh, number one, number two, number three. You don't have to do all of them. You can just do one, but we have one bid so far in each of the plants. And uh, that has definitely uh, set the standard right now, set the bar. Um, and when's the last day to bid? The last day to bid is February 25th. Um, every single morning, I like to, I'm going to be updating um, what the highest bid was for each plant. Um, being the first day, it hasn't really budged much. But, right. Yeah. Okay. But by the time this video goes live, is probably going to be February 25th. So today is your last day. Get in here and and place your bid if you would like one of these gorgeous monsteras. And then what are the hours for the greenery? Because you guys are open all the time anyway, right? Yes, the greenery is open Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 2. Um, sometimes we're open on a Monday, sometimes on a Saturday, like for Mother's Day weekend or, um, you know, if Valentine's had fallen on a Saturday, we probably would have been open, but we were open on Monday. We're not open during the summer. So only when school is in session. Yes, and we're open the second week of class after the quarter starts. So that's, uh, would be September, second week of September-ish? Um, more like third week. Third week of September? Yeah, third okay. week of September. And then are you guys going to be open for the Garden Expo weekend? Yes, I believe that's... It's the weekend uh, after Mother's Day this year. Yeah, the second Saturday in May okay. is going to be the Garden Expo. And the, the greenery is actually going to have its own plant sale yeah. the first Saturday in May. Nice. Yes. So, and I'm going to be talking about the Garden Expo a little later in this video, so hold tight for that one. And tell us about what you sell in the greenery. Like, why do we come here? The greenery offers house plants. Um, in the springtime, we offer trees, shrubs, perennials, annuals, annuals. veggie starts. Woo, veggie yes, starts! Yes, lots of veggie starts. <coughs> Sometimes we'll order in unique items um, that you just can't find anywhere else, but they usually go fast. Yeah, I can imagine. We also um, do floral, so if you need a custom arrangement, you can call us up and okay. um, hopefully we can get that done for you. We do our best. We need, you know, a little bit of notice, but yeah. Absolutely. If you have a wedding, you need to give them a few weeks, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then you do that kind of stuff, and yes. all purchases here support the school and the program, right? Yes. It's, all the money goes right back to the program, the supplies, the students. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. That is awesome. Uh, and there's several different uh, tracks of schooling. The one I graduated from here at SCC was the Landscape Turf Management Program, but there's also what forestry? Um, there's and urban forestry and arboriculture, okay. um, small farms production, landscape, yeah, landscape management, you said, uh, and greenhouse, greenhouse nursery. Yeah. Um, and then there's ag stuff, uh, but that's more ag, not horticulture. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to link their socials and whatnot down in the description below, as well as links to everything I'm going to talk about in this video. So make sure to check out the description for whatever you want to find. Spokane Community College is located at 1810 North Green Street. That's on the east side of town, north of Trent, between Mission and the river. Today is the last day to bid, so if you want one of these beauties, finish this video, then get over there. The Spokane Conservation District's annual tree sale is underway. Last day to order is March 11th, so if you haven't put in your order yet, go check that out. Links to all of these events are posted in the description below. There are several seed swaps coming up. One is tomorrow. It's located at the Vets on the Farm, 7501 South Palouse Highway. The class related to seeds begins at 10 and the swap begins at 11. There are a lot more seed swaps too many to talk about or this video would be about an hour long. So if you know of a seed swap, 
or any event that I don't mention in this video, please leave a comment down below and tell us about it. Master Gardeners are holding their annual event called Cabin Fever online beginning March 12th. This is a several day series of virtual classes. You will want to check out the schedule for the full list of speakers and topics. The event starts on Saturday, March 12th from 9 a.m. to noon. There are two keynote speakers that day, Dr. Doug Tallamy and Dr. John Albers. Both will be speaking on topics related to how our gardening practices affect the environment and how we can be better stewards of our world through our gardens. I am really excited to hear these speakers. I've also downloaded several of their books on Audible and my goal is to finish a few of them before this event. There are several speakers on a variety of other topics, all available for you to view on demand from March 14th to April 15th. Check the website for the full list. Tickets are $50 per login link and again, the whole event is online so you'll watch from the comfort of wherever you are watching this video right now. It's a much anticipated long-awaited and oh-so-missed Inland Empire Garden Expo is scheduled for May 14th from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. As always, it's on the SCC campus, 1810 North Green Street. This year's theme is gardening in the USA, art in bloom. There will be tons of vendors, lots of fun, free admission, and free parking. This is the biggest annual gardening event in Spokane and we have missed the last two years because of COVID. The Inland Empire Gardeners are doing their best to make sure we can do it once again this year. They are asking for donations and volunteers, and I'm quite sure that they still have booth space available if you have a business and want to host a booth. I have my booth booked and I will be there. I'd love to see all of you, so come find my bright pink booth and say hi. I always give away milkweed seeds, so come get some to help the butterflies and check out the hundreds of other booths while you are there. It is always an excellent way to spend a Saturday. The Spokane Edible Tree Project is coordinating with Spirit Pruners to put on a three hour fruit tree pruning class on March 5th. The cost is $25, it's in the valley, and tickets can be purchased on Eventbrite. The link for this is also down below. This is one of my favorite local nonprofits getting together with one of my favorite local arborists. It will certainly be worth attending, and I have my ticket. Spokane Edible Tree Project has been working for years to locate and map all of the fruit trees in Spokane that are growing food that would otherwise go to waste. They get groups of volunteers together to glean the fruit and donate it to the food bank. Volunteers also get a healthy portion if they want to take it home. Spirit Pruners is a holistic arborist that focuses on the health of the whole tree. Their prices are reasonable, and they do a wonderful job. So if you need some arboriculture work, consider giving them a call. The annual compost fair has a tentative date of April 30th. This was the event that used to be held twice a year at the Arboretum where you'd visit booths, watch a video on how to compost, and earn a free compost bin. In the meantime, between now and the event, if you would like to take the training to become a certified master composter, there is a virtual class coming up soon with some opportunities for hands-on learning in small groups. Every Tuesday evening from March 29th through April 26th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and an in-person small group learning lab on Saturday, April 2nd from 8.30 a.m. to noon. Those who complete the program are expected to volunteer helping others to learn about home composting. The deadline to register is March 4th, so hurry and get signed up if this interests you. There are several beekeeping classes coming up, too many and too specific to list here. Some are in person, some are online, and all are based on experience. So Google your county followed by beekeeping classes and you will likely find a class in your area. I've put the link to the Inland Empire Beekeeping Association's classes down below. Another big event that I will let you know about is the Spokane Home and Garden Show on March 11th through the 13th this year. It is at the Spokane Convention Center, which is where it has been for many years. This is an event that is positively packed with contractors and landscapers of all types for just about any home improvement project you could imagine. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for seniors and military, and 12 and under get in free. I will most likely be in attendance, but I will not have a booth. Just watch for my sweater and come say hi. This is a ways out, but worth a mention. The Four Seasons Herbal Guild is hosting their annual herbal fair Saturday, June 11th from 11 till 3 and Sunday the 12th 
from 11 till 2 at the West Central Abbey, 1832 West Dean. This is always a fun event, full of local herbalists selling their crafts and creations. Lastly, I want to talk about our upcoming schedule. We are currently accepting applications for new assistant gardeners. I am also looking for a social media and filming assistant to help me with my online presence and this channel. The jobs we offer are both flexible and fixed. You write your own schedule and then you stick to it. The best part about working as a professional gardener is that it is something that feeds your soul and strengthens your body rather than your typical jobs that are just exchanging your time for a paycheck. We offer competitive pay with raises throughout the year, profit share when the company does well, and paid sick leave and time off. We are hoping to open for the season the week of March 14th, but of course that all depends on the weather. If you would like to apply for a job with us, click the link below to our website and follow the instructions to apply. Thanks so much for watching, especially all the way through. Remember to like the video, and I will see you very soon at the various classes, events, and of course, in the garden. Thank you.